Good morning Church. My name is Paul Maiden and along with my wife Jill we are regional pastors for Tameside in the east of Manchester. Today I'd like to share some thoughts about the gifts God gives us to help the people around us, specifically spiritual gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us which are powerful to strengthen each other and to change the course of our direction. About 30 years ago, uh, Jill and I had the privilege of being part of Pastor Glynn's dad's church uh, called Endeavour Christian Fellowship in Ashton-Underline. Uh, Pastor Bryn uh, prophesied over me one day, and I remember where I was at, uh, that I would run my own business. At the time, I had no idea what that would look like. Very soon after, uh, an opportunity came my way and I had all the confidence and encouragement I needed to make that first step to start a business that would completely change the course of our lives. The Bible says that spiritual gifts are powerful and that we should pray for them. 1 Corinthians 14 says, earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. It goes on to say, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. We know that spiritual gifts grow with practice, so it's important not to give up if our first attempt isn't great. And it's okay to experiment and to get it wrong. And uh, small groups are the, the perfect place for us to be able to practice spiritual gifts for our own benefit and for the benefit of those around us as well. Uh, God has planned that your most preferable future and the best version of you will come out of the relationships that you have with your Christian family. Small groups is the space where we can uh, where we can exercise these spiritual gifts and make that happen. I believe that our biggest FOMO, the fear should be the sphere of missing out on small groups and what can happen there. Hebrews says, do not neglect meeting together for very good reason. Your small group needs you because you have unique giftings, both spiritual and natural, to strengthen the others in your group and even change someone's destiny. 1 Corinthians 14 says, Well, my brothers and sisters, let's summarise. When you meet together, one will sing, another will teach, another will tell some special revelation God has given, one will speak in tongues, another will interpret what has been said. But everything that is done must strengthen all of you. Another, another translation says, each one should, should bring. So let's be bringers and build the church that is, has its extraordinary destiny to be the pure and spotless bride of Christ. Key thoughts, I think, for this morning are that God has tied my destiny into my relationships and also that I have a gift to help someone else. I hope you've enjoyed this morning. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.